Hey there fellow campers and welcome to our campsite review on Salt Rock Caravan Park, situated directly on the coast just north of Belito in Salt Rock. It's tar all the way from the north or the south on the N2 highway. Take the Salt Rock off-ramp and follow the road for just over 3 kilometers, then turn left into Hotel Road, which takes you to the entrance of the caravan park. There are numerous speed bumps throughout the area, eight of which just on this three kilometer section alone, and not all of them are painted and easy to see. If you are booked into top park or back park, you will use the first gate to your left. If you are staying in front park, then it's the right hand gate directly in front of you. Either way, first check in at reception and they'll provide you with the parking permits and answer any questions you may have. I'm going to deal with each of the three sections in their entirety just to avoid jumping around a lot. Front Park has sites that directly overlook the ocean. It's a spectacular view with easy access to the beach. However, you are at the mercy of the wind out here, with the frontmost sites being very exposed. These sites all have a short artificial turf covered slab which you can use as your living space. It drains quickly should there be a rainstorm, it's gentle on the feet and mostly helps to keep the sand out of your rig. The rest of the area of your site is grassed, but there is no space or privacy between sites here, but they are ideal for young families who want to be close to the sea and the tidal pool. There is a large ablution block which is absolutely hammered by both the elements and high foot traffic especially west children running in from the sea all wet and full of salt. While in the stricter sense, the building could do with a lick of paint and some TLC, the staff work exceptionally hard to keep it clean and the floors dry. The ladies and gents are separate and both have showers, baths and toilets, all with solid doors. The showers here have a large changing area with a bench and hooks and a glass door leading to the shower area. The hot water was very hot and almost instantaneous. But you will need to bring your own bath plug here or just buy one at reception. Across from the ablution is a building housing a scullery, washing machines and tumble dryers. Tokens for these can be bought at reception, but note that there are no lines to dry clothes here. Behind this building there are two deep tubs for hand washing of laundry and camping equipment with cold water only and there is also a porta potty dump site. Now Top Park is popular with long stay visitors and has lovely lawned sites with some wear down to bare soil where caravans and tents have killed off the grass. There are lovely large shade trees and sites are demarcated by vegetation and flower beds. A few of the sites do have a sea view across the road and others back up onto the perimeter road. Top Park has a neat ablution block which is well cared for by those in residence and the staff. White tiles, toilets, showers, basins and a bath. These are the smallest of the showers in the campsite being just a square shower cubicle without a changing or dry area. But there is a stool and some hooks. In both the gents and the ladies, there is a wheelchair-friendly shower cubicle, which includes a toilet and a hand basin. At the back of the ablutions is another scullery and laundry area, housing a washing machine and tumble dryer, and these are in high demand in season. Outside, there are more laundry tubs with cold water only and a porta potty dump site. In addition, here there is a large area with washing lines for air drying laundry. Lastly is Back Park, which is a quieter and more shady area and will provide welcome relief from the heat in the summer months. Sites are divided by trees, plants and flowers. This area has no view of the sea and again some of the sites do back onto the road around the perimeter. There is another well-maintained ablution here with toilets, showers with the changing area, basins and baths. There is also a wheelchair-friendly shower and a separate disabled-friendly toilet. Across the entire caravan park, all sites have access to a blue caravan-type power point and a dedicated water tap. 
Neither of these are particularly far from the sites they serve, so you won't need a hectically long extension cord or hose pipe. Bry facilities are not included as standard on each campsite, but you can rent one or just bring your own. Just ensure that it's off the ground and doesn't damage the grass or the artificial turf. There are communal dustbin areas for the disposal of garbage. Salt Rock Caravan Park offers long-stay discounts to pensioners for about 10 months of the year in top park and back park. You can also request assistance in setting up and packing up your campsite, but it's best to pre-arrange this in-season as it can get crazy busy. There is a detailed campsite map on their website, and that also indicates the size of the stands, which vary generally from about 50 square meters to 120 square meters. With regards to activities, life here mainly revolves around the beach, the tidal pools and the ocean. The tidal pools are a mecca for children, where they can play in the water far from the pool of the tides and the currents. For those wanting to splash in the ocean, there is a community beach a very short stroll away, where there are lifeguards on duty and shark nets in place. Lays under an umbrella while the kids make sandcastles. Watch the fishermen try their luck, or keep an eye out for the dolphins and whales passing by. It really is a picture postcard holiday destination. Surfing, kiteboarding, canoeing and surf fishing are also popular here, so just bring your own equipment and have a go. Golf can be arranged at one of the many courses in the area, and for those that do want a day out, visit Ushaka Sea World in Durban, a casino, or closer to Belito, there are a myriad of family-friendly activities. Just take note, there's no swimming pool at the caravan park, so water activities for the caravan park residents revolve around the beach and the tidal pools. The caravan park is part of the Salt Rock Hotel Complex, where pensioners lunch of fish and chips or a curry and rice with a glass of wine is offered on a Friday. The Sunday buffet is a firm draw card, and even locals stop by for their curry, jam and cream scones or pizzas. The caravan park is not pet friendly, but the beach is, and you will see many very happy dogs frolicking in the surf and along the beach. The property is fenced on the land side and has access control. There are many security staff on duty at any one time, and they strictly monitor ingress and egress of people off the beach 24 hours a day. We stayed in Front Park during our stay, and we can attest to feeling safe and secure on the property. During our stay, we noticed ongoing maintenance, filling up of the road with some sand, cutting down of dead palm fronds and general bathroom maintenance. It was not a trouble-free stay for us. The element went in the geyser on the front park bathroom and we were asked to use either of the other two bathrooms. It certainly wasn't a problem, but it's just a reminder that even in paradise there can be hiccups. A short walk through the Salt Rock Hotel next door will take you to a small shopping centre and convenience store where you can source most daily supplies. It is convenient, but the prices are higher than at many of the large retail stores within an easy drive. The number of supermarkets, retail outlets and service companies throughout Belito is quite astounding. The malls are large, modern, well-stocked and a pleasure to visit. Whether you need groceries, a major service on your car, a doctor, a dentist or any type of service, you will find it in the Belito area. We mostly used the nearby Salt Rock City complex for our shopping. On the technology front, there is no Wi-Fi hotspot in the caravan park, but we were able to stream on both MTN and Vodacom. We could access the bank and make calls on our phones. The MTN signal did go down on the odd occasion, while Vodacom seemed more stable. Load shedding does affect the area, but both top park and back park are supported by a generator from the hotel. We were told to expect outages to our power in Front Park, but we never noticed any dip in power. Salt Rock Caravan Park is the quintessential beach holiday destination, but do take note of the seasons. It's very, very windy and quite chilly in August, and you may want to avoid Front Park at that time, while the very humid months of February can be very hot, sticky and uncomfortable. Salt Rock Caravan Park is great for young families looking for a beach holiday, for teenagers wanting to burn some energy in the surf, 
and for pensioners looking to escape the colder climes. It's suitable for every type of camping, from ground tents to camper vans, motorhomes, road caravans and off-road rigs. And we certainly look forward to returning to Salt Rock Caravan Park. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, be well, and I hope to catch you in a campsite sometime.